Alright, this video is how to solve a 2x2 two two requested by Blue Archer 23 And before I go into this, I'll just say a couple of things. First off, if you don't have a 2x2, two two, you can also solve it on a 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four or any cube. Just solve the corners, because all a 2x2 two two is corners only. Um, second is that there are a couple different brands of 2x2s two uh, I have two different brands here this one is an Isheen and this is a Rubik's um, Isheens are way better uh, Rubik's are horrible just as pretty much anybody um, the color scheme on an Isheen is normal but on a Rubik's it's different um, if um, Rubik's also has an ice cube, which is uh, clear instead of the black, and um, the stickers are also transparent. So I would recommend getting an Isheen. And if you don't know notation, then I suggest you look at a link that I'll post uh, to understand it, because I'm not going to go over that. So. I'm going to be demonstrating on this cube. So, here we go. Okay, so there are a couple different methods to um, solving the Rubik's Cube. This method I'll be teaching you is similar to the Friedrich method, which is how I solve the 3x3. Three three. And there's a, there's um, also Ortega and Guimond. And right now I'm also um, in the uh, process of switching to a modified Ortega. But so, like in the Friedrich, we want to start by getting one layer. So, I start with white. And no matter what, one corner will always be in the correct spot. So, I just pick a corner and start with that one. So, I see here's a corner right here. It's white, blue, and pink instead of orange. And then here is a white pink and green. Um, now if there were centers it would be white, pink, and green. But since, th since there aren't any you just have to kind of figure that out on your own. Um, so that means this piece needs to go right up here. So what you would do would be R prime, D prime, it's R. And now that piece is in. So now you have two pieces. And then we have these two pieces right here, but, and these two are white, but if we bring this up, then these two aren't oriented, so that's no good. So, um, this piece is in its right place, but misoriented, because if white was up here, then blue would be right here, which is, needs to be next to this blue. So we need to uh, reorient this one with the uh, R prime, D prime, R D until it gets in. And then here's this one, and this one needs to go here. This is the only missing corner, so. And then there you go. Um, so that's getting the first layer. So after you get the first layer oriented and permuted, you're going to want to do the same to the top layer, but you're going to be doing that differently. So. Basically, for the corners, I use the same corner method for the 3x3. Three three. And what I use is the empty corner, which I call it. And basically, you take an empty corner, which is a corner that does not have your top color on the top face. So that my top face is yellow. This corner does not have yellow. Well, it does, but not right here. So this is an empty corner. And you're going to take it, you want to put it on the up, or up, front, left side. You're going to do R U R prime U R U two R prime, and then now you should come across, and you're going to keep doing that, putting an empty corner here, until you come to only one corner that is not empty, so like this one, and then you're going to put that one in the uh, up front left, and do the same thing R U R prime U R U two R prime. Here is the one non-empty corner. Put it back and do it one more time. And there you go. The 
the top corners are now oriented. Now you need to permute the corners. So what you're going to do is find a pair of corners, which in this case there aren't any, because these two are not the same. These two aren't, these two aren't, and these two aren't. So for my case, I'm going to do And now I have a pair of corners because these two are both the same color. And I use a different corner switching algorithm for the 2x2, two two, but normally you would put them in the back. But I put them on the left. So you're going to take these two corners, put them on the left, and you're going to do that same algorithm. And then just do U, U prime, or U2 to bring the top layer into its correct position. And there you go, your 2x2 two two is solved. I'm going to be going over this real quick again. So I look here and I see I have white, green, and pink, or purple. So this is the corner that I will be basing everything off of. Here I have the white, green, red. So this needs to go here. So I'm going to do the algorithm until it's in. Here's my other corner, and I'll just do that algorithm until it's in. So now I have my first layer, so flip it over, so empty corner, empty corner, empty corner, empty corner, empty, or er, only non-empty corner non-empty corner no pair of edges so pair of edges they go on the left and there you go it's solved um, I may go over some quicker methods like I may um, show like the more um, advanced method that I was just showed you, and I might also do Ortega and Guimond, but I'm not sure if I will. But until then, that's all.